One year ago, 988 was designated the official number to call for the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. And as WATE 6 on your side's Kristen Gallant found out, the number has already helped save millions of lives. Before the pandemic, about uh, one person in five uh, suffered from mental health uh, issues. And uh, during the pandemic, that number changed dramatically and became more two people out of five. Ben Harrington is the CEO of the Mental Health Association of East Tennessee. Suicide is a problem. And um, in Knoxville, you know, on average, we're going to have uh, close to about 100 uh, suicides a year in Knox County. That's probably well undercounted um, because not every death is going through the medical examiner process. And plus, you also got to remember um, for each completed suicide, there's about 17 to 20 attempts out there. So there's an awful lot of uh, folks that do get extremely troubled and believe suicide is their way out of whatever is is problematic in their life. Before the creation of 988 as the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline number, there was an 800 number, but it was difficult to find and hard to remember. So 988 was created uh, as a uh, really a one-stop shop for persons to call if they were contemplating suicide or in a mental health crisis and to get connected to resources. There are several call centers across the state of Tennessee, including one in Oak Ridge. The average length of um, answer time is less than 30 seconds in the state of Tennessee, which is really good. Millions of lives have been impacted. There were four million um, calls and texts through the 988 system in the month of May nationally. So if you break that down to Tennessee, there's still going to be a few hundred thousand in, in, in the state of Tennessee on a month-to-month -month basis. But Harrington says there's still work to be done. 88% of calls are answered in the state of Tennessee. It's not quite where we want it to be. We want it to be over 90%, but we're close. They also want everyone to know the number and not feel scared to call. It's not a sign of weakness to reach out to ask for help. It's actually a sign of strength. In Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Kristen, thank you. Harrington adds those who answer the phones, they are doing an incredible job. He says only 3% of calls that go to the 988 number in Tennessee have gotten to a point where emergency services had to be involved.